name of my story, this, oh, and the characters that were on the screen were the right characters. I just printed the wrong date at the time. <laughs> You're done looking at that anyway. Okay, the name of my story this morning is Uncle Floyd's Prayers. Barabbas and Gator are here at the kitchen table as Uncle Floyd is serving up the sweet potato and ham soup for supper, <coughs> family favorite. And by the way, this is not a dress that Uncle Floyd wears. It's an apron, as you can clearly see, if you see the back. Some people have asked me why he's wearing a dress. His Aunt Ole made that for his mother, and he likes wearing it. Yes. Um, so they bowed their heads for the prayer, and when the blessing was at the end, Uncle Floyd added that he wanted God to also bless Natasha Doolittle and her son, <coughs> Why would you want God to bless them? asked Barabbas. Oh, did did Cat give the key back? asked Bar uh, Gator. Natasha the Doolittle was very rude last week, and you might remember when Uncle Floyd met her at the cornerstone and asked, told her that they suspect that Cat is the one who is taken the missing house key from their house. The day that Cat helped Gator back from down the river, which was a nice thing Gator did, a nice thing that Cat did, that he brought him home, except that Cat had clawed Gator's underbelly so bad he needed stitches in the emergency room, because he has just a little bit of a scar left there. He'll probably always have that scar. Yeah, and, but he's all healed now, he's fine. Yeah, so. Natasha, when she was meeting with Uncle Floyd at the cornerstone, was so indignant when, when Uncle Floyd thought maybe Cat had the key that she stuck her tail in the air and abruptly and indignantly clicked her four high-heeled shoes out of the cornerstone, just like that. Why would you be nice to her? She sounds like she's, and, and Cat too, are kind of like jerks. I reckon that jerks are very good people who should be prayed for, said Uncle Floyd. We should probably not be calling them jerks either. And maybe even I'm a jerk, I reckon. Anyone can love a nice person. Jesus tells us to love the unlovable, those who are the hardest to love. They are probably the ones who need it the most. The end. <laughs>